I'm a band guy, so I, I always love when the bands bring us in, bring us out, whatever. You know, I, that that's, that's, that's my that's my thing right there. Well, yeah, that was a good call. I, played, I played saxophone. I was smooth. Did you really? I was really smooth. You know, we got time to kill. They're telling us we're light on time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Somebody grab uh, Seth's yeah, saxophone. Yeah, please. Yeah, we, I can I can play us out. Now, welcome back to Friday Night Football. We're entering the fourth quarter of action here with still a few games left to go. Yeah, still been plenty of great plays, but mm. we can only pick one fastest play of the day. This one presented by Hidden Speed Academy. So we go to Lauraville Tiger, Azarian Alexander. Slant pass to Brennan Williams. He cuts across the field. He turns on the, as I said, afterburners, afterburners, more afterburners. Off to the races, <laughs> 75 yards for the TD. Way to go, Mr. Williams. Look at the celebration. And then too. you can't you, One, you can't appreciate the touchdown and then without the celebration. Two, oh, it's too congratulations. Nice. You have our fastest play of the game. Thank you, Hidden Speed Academy. Two of the best 2A teams in the area. Opelous is Catholic, Vermilion Catholic, OC and VC. Quarterback Zach Mengarilli handing off to Ryan Lewis. A little over 15 yards for the first down. Big old boy. Opelous is Catholic. Gonna drive down the field, but a fumble. A fumble return. There we go. Stumbling, fumbling, and it's fumbling. Andre LeBlanc, second quarter. That will set up a score. Late in the second, Andre Marceau. That's pretty good. Andre Marceau connecting with Chris Constantine. He's going to want to put six points on the board. Opelous is Catholic. We'll get the victory by the score of 22 to 6. Nice catch. St. Ed Blue Jays going toe to toe with the Trojans of Sacred Heart. Early in the first, nothing, nothing. Sacred Heart's JT Harper. Running it and running it in. Trojans go up seven to nothing. Second quarter, Trojans get the ball back. Harper thinking end zone again. This time a long run. Got a few more steps. Working on steps, you see. But score 14 nothing. Blue Jays will strike back. They're going to get quarterback sneak. Hunter Brown. That made it 14 7. Our final score is St. Ed 21 20. Sacred Heart getting Sacred the win. Sacred Heart 29 21. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Westminster. Versus Homer Christian, quarterback Andre Fontenot handing the ball off to running back Lane Bias, two-yard score, 14-0. Homer QB Chad Porche throwing an amazingly long, that's what they wrote, amazingly long pass to Jaquari Ward. TD, yeah. Westminster's Cole Fournette, though, going to come up with the INT. Mr. Do, nice do it grab. everything for yep. Westminster, absolutely. Way to do it. Taking it in for the score, that made it 21-7 to on that one. Westminster and Homer Christian. 21-21 in the fourth. Other scores, Bo Shane, big over Port Berry, 36-2. Absolutely. And, and last night, Opelousas High was hosting West St. Mary, already up 7-0. The Corian Fontenot forces a Wolfpack fumble, and Marlon Young wearing the number 81 in honor of fallen teammate Deshaun Foster almost makes a house call, but he's just short. The Tigers would eventually punch it in to make, make it 13 nothing. Second quarter, Quincy Lede is going to dump it off to George Dominic, who does the rest for another Tigers touchdown, and they would continue to roll to a 26 to nothing halftime lead. OHS holds West St. Mary to negative yards wow. on the night as the Tigers <laughs> cruise 38 to six. And then we have a few additional scores to mention. Sam Houston defeating Cecilia 42 to seven. Uh, Grand Lake defeating Gaydon 13 to 12. Uh, Welsh actually winning their game. Yep. Um, it was 20, was it 28 to 17? 2017 is what we told. We had it kind of flip flop on the flip, graphic. Flip flopped a little bit and then also Venton defeating Highland Baptist. Highland Baptist going on the road and falling uh, 47 to 21. So that's just a few additional scores from around the area. But man, what a night of action in Acadiana. Well, and you know what I like to see in two Seth is, you know, we've got these coaches that have great track record. Yes. You know, Jim Hightower, Louis Cook at Notre Dame, you know, Shane, uh, Dane Chaponche, you know, had a couple great seasons at OC. He's got a good squad over at Turley. But they're all supposed to be rebuilding. Right. Well, <laughs> in STM's rebuilding year, you know, trying to find a quarterback. 49. They've scored 45 <laughs> and 49 points. Dave Chaponche got a new club. They've scored, you know, 44 and 41. And it's just amazing. It just keeps on rolling. And they're, and they're young and they're rebuilding, so it only just tells you what to expect. That's it for Friday Night Football. For Scott, I'm Seth. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you.